them. Oh, we'll show them the favorite sites, our favorite sites. We're sending Michael. He's going on a recon mission. Hey, everybody. We are headed up to Alum Creek State Park today to do a walk through and check out some of our favorite sites. Yeah, we've mentioned before that uh, when we're not camping and it's winter time, we still really enjoy heading out to the campgrounds and scoping out the, the campground and seeing what our favorite sites are. We're gonna take you guys along with us and check out some of our faves. Let's go. Hey guys. Hi. So we just pulled into Alum Creek State Park just to do a walk around, kind of show you guys what's going on up here. It's one of our favorite parks. So we were in the camp store and funny story, if you watched our video a couple weeks of weeks ago. ago about our winter hike out here at Alum Creek. Well, if you remember, we got lost in that hike. Um, it did not turn out the way we intended it to be to, but it was, it ended up being fun and fine and we had a good time with it. So we go into the camp store here just to ask them, are there, is there anything new this year, um, you know, coming up, anything that we could share with you guys. And the lady that was working in there was one of the ladies that was guiding the hike last week. And so she remembered us as being the couple that got lost. Right. And they've decided that where they know exactly where we got lost, there's not a sign there where we should have turned, and that they assured us that they are putting that sign in. But she was just laughing hysterically that that we had come in there. All right, so we're just going to do a walk through the campground today, kind of show you guys uh, what Allen Creek has to offer as far as the state campground goes. We will only be able to show you maybe half of it. The other half is still closed for the winter, unless we can maybe get over there, I'm not sure. Um, but we're going to start out here at the Nature Center, show you guys around, and um, stick around till the end of the video. Ooh, and... ooh, we'll show them the favorite sites, our favorite sites. Yeah, so at the end of the video, we'll save our top five favorite water sites here at Allen Creek that we know of? Maybe they won't be water sites. Maybe. You don't know. You don't know. You have to wait till the end. All right. So here we go. little littlefreelibrary.org in there take a book share a book a little drive through of the dump station here do have water year round available the dump station is available year round and two lanes in and out so that's kind of nice but there hookups don't have the full hookups do not have water turned on year round you have to get water at the filling station gotcha so this is section a it's right along the main road not our favorite sites in the world but we'll just kind of give you guys a quick drive through of a here But you'll notice that there are still there's still a lot of space in between the sites. Yeah, and they're secluded. There's there's plenty of uh, trees and stuff between the sites to keep you blocked. Yeah. So when we say it's not our favorite sites, I mean they're not our favorite Allen Creek sites, but they're still decent. A23 is a nice big wooded site. And they have designated ones for all of the camp hosts as well. Hey, there's not many people out here. 
this would be a good winter camping space. You know, I never paid that much attention to these sites before, Michael, because... Can you stop a minute? Because I didn't like the fact that they were right on the road. But look at how much space is behind your campsite. I mean, it goes on. Yeah, they're like nice wooden ever. sites. Like, you could put up a whole city of hammocks back there. all day so this is section B which it shows B as full hookup sites I see electric I see water but I don't see sewer oh there it is yep it's over by the power box looks like the sewer hookup so all of section B is full hookup sites now and then at the end of section B, they have what they call full hookup premium sites. So the premium sites are really about the, the view of the lake, I think. So I think they charge a little bit extra for the premium sites, but you do get a better view, or you get a view of the lake. None of the full hookups are premium. There are no full hookups that have that premium. are premium so right. even the ones in b no the that one, are premiums are not full hookups that's correct okay so not all of section b is full hookups all except for the premium sites in section b are full hookups so again they're secluded you know there's plenty of shrubbery between the uh, between the sites. On my research, people list B15, 18, 27, 31, 34, 36, and 39 as being favorites. So we've never oh. stayed at a full hookup here, so let's see if we this agree. Just happens to be B15 right here. A little wooded area behind you. Yeah. So over here is B18, which was another one that was in the favorite sites. Uh, it is a nice long site and it is backed up to the trail that leads you right over to the nature center and the playground. So if you got kids, this would be a good site to have them close to all the, uh, the amenities. The best thing about Elm Creek spots is the uh, the privacy. You know, they have trees and shrubbery between every site. Now, this one right here, can you stop for a moment? It's B29. If you can see back behind there, there's a path that takes you back to that pond. All right, I'm going to take you guys for a little walk. So this is B29. It's a full hookup site electric water sewer and they all do have 30 and 50 amp hookups just so you know 
but you can walk back this little trail at B29 and it leads you back to a new little fishing pond that they put in last year or year before. I forget when they finished this up. But uh, I don't know if it's stocked or not, but they do have it posted that you can fish back here at this little pond. Sorry about the sunshine there. There is a trail system back here that will lead you to Allen Creek Reservoir and the trails go all the way around the lake, so it's pretty nice. Starting at B42 and 43 yep. are the premium sites. And you'll see why here as soon as we turn the corner. But they're not full hookup. They are just electric, no water or sewer, I believe. This is the first premium site, and they're marked on the boxes what's premium and what's not. Yep. There's the lake. You get the lake. So you can walk right from your site right down to that lake to fish. Or float, or put your kayak in. I will tell you that the main part of the lake, when the traffic is busy with boats, the water's pretty rough for kayaking, but there are some secret spots that you can put in. So this time of year, there's not a whole lot of people out here, but this section is open year round. So if you are into winter camping, all of this section two, I believe is what they call it, is open for your winter camping as long as you are self-contained, you bring your own water. Um, but the electric is available for you to, to come out. And I think they have winter rates, so it's a little cheaper to come out in the winter time. Okay, so this is section C. We are going through it backwards. There's not a whole lot of sites in section C. I think there's only 20 some. Um, but C does have these little camper cabins uh, that you can rent out. So if you have family that wants to come camping with you but they don't have a camper, down here on this section they do have four, I think, little camper cabins that you can rent. On this side, it's a lot bigger cabin. Can you pull up just a little bit? I can't even see it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's a two-room cabin right there. Oh, so you got a room for you and one for the kids. So here's section E, which are just electric sites only. You know what's really nice about doing this drive-through in the winter is that you get to see the sights better because their campers aren't in the spots. And then also, since the trees are not all filled with leaves, it just gives you a better view, I think. Now there's water at E10 and there's water at E12. Yeah, that's because E4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14 are full hookups. 
Oh, that's right. They do have a little section of full hookups in here. Yeah. E24 is a pretty solid site. It's another one of those. It looks like it might have a little trail that runs off the back side of it that goes off to the lake, or to the lake trail system anyway. But your next neighbor over is pretty far away. And all these sites are pretty flat, side to side and front to back too. So, you know, if you do have a bigger rig and being level is tough for you sometimes. These sites are pretty good. Now E30 does have the main walking trail that comes right through the front of like your yeah. camp yeah, side. I would, I would not want this site. So G is another loop that leads you back to the camper's beach. So I will tell you, if you don't have kids and you don't, you know, want a bunch of kids running around all weekend or all week while you're back here, weekdays aren't bad, I guess. But this loop does have a lot of kid traffic with well, them coming back on their bicycles and stuff to come back at the beach. So if you still want to be able to have beach access, but you don't want to be in this Busy. party party loop, we'll share with you at the end where the secret beach is. Oh yes. It's a secret. But if I tell you, you can't tell anyone else. So back here on the loop of G is where the beach access is for the campers beach so this little loop back here is usually packed full of all the kids with their bicycles and they just kind of park all willy-nilly everywhere and you know it's interesting nobody said um nobody rated this loop as being the favorite and you would think because it does have the beach access that it would be the favorite, but in all my research, nobody picked this. And there is a parking lot back here. And this is just the camper's beach. Alum Creek State Park has a huge beach. Huge beach. And there are some hiking trails that go all the way around the campground. Actually, right there's one that oh, cuts yeah. through, mm -hmm. but um, it does come right through here, is what I was gonna say, but then we saw it. Uh, so from any of the campsites, you can pick up the hiking trail and hike over to the beach if you want to. Okay guys, here's the deal. So. The other half of the campground is closed for the winter, and we thought we'd be able to just drive over there just to look around at sites, but they told us that we're not allowed. Um, so we had brought our bikes, and we were like, oh, well, we'll ride our bikes. But we're technically not allowed. But we're sending Michael, he's going on a recon mission. We found this little cut through that's gonna get to the other side where you don't, um, you don't drive on the road. So he is going to go out on his bike and ride to the other side because our favorite sites are on the other side and we can't come out here and not show you the favorite sites. So I hope he doesn't get caught. Are you ready for the mission at TAS? I am, it's a little chilly, but, and I've got to try to run the gimbal, the bicycle and not crash all at the same time. Don't wreck. Going 
do it a little off-road and so and not get lost <laughs> i never get lost okay good luck which sites baby. am i going to go look at we gotta wait and see okay so here goes nothing we're on the bicycle doing some off-road sorry about the bad uh video here so i gotta make it through this little wonky spot and then uh We'll hit the road up here and we'll see if we can find some of our favorite spots. Okay, so I think, if I remember correctly, there's another little trail cut through over here that leads us back to some of the good spots. So, let's see. If we can get up through here. Oh, yeah. This is the right section. Oh, there's the other shortcut that I wanted right there. Let's loop around here. What you'll find back here at Allen Creek, the more time you spend here, the more spots you'll find that give you access, little shortcuts from one section to the next. So we always try to stay away from the sites right next to the outhouses or the shower houses, just because it's extra light. So this is section K and there's a little loop off of K up here with the little playground. That one's usually pretty busy with lots of kids. So we try to stay out of that. All right, so Shelly Kay stayed back at the truck, but she told you guys that we were gonna show you a little secret spot back here. It's back in the back of the K loop. And you have to come back an old trail. It's kind of a little gravel road. And I don't think it's on the current map of the campground but if you walk back this trail maybe 100 150 yards you run into this guy right here so this is the old campers beach we come back here with the dogs there's never anybody here you can bring your kayaks back here and put in you play up and down this little channel you can come back here and fish let the dogs swim but the old camper's beach is back at the end of K Loop. It's one of those little hidden gems that we really enjoy back here. All right, so here's one of our favorite sites. This is B36. It is a premium site but it is not full hookups. And the reason that it's one of our favorite sites, you know, you have nobody off to the side of you. It is a little bit muddy. It's plenty long enough for any of those big rigs, but you back right up to the lake, you hear the geese out there squawking. You can walk right down to the water and fish you can put your kayaks in down here um, you know super nice access to the lake there is one drawback about this site you do get the great view of the lake and the ducks but there is this causeway right here yeah. so um you know it's not a lot of traffic but it is kind of annoying to hear and then at night um you know you'll see the headlights through here but, you know, that's the price you pay. You get this great water access. So, this is section L. L, back here in this loop, is pretty legit. So, L14, all the way around, they all have access to the lake. But our very favorite one in L, is number 17. So L17 is a nice back in sight. It's just electric. But 
when you're back in here, you have access right down to the lake with all of this open space that goes into a nice little fishing area right here. So L17, hands down, one of our favorites. We have stayed right here in this site several times. Just an easy back in site that's got water access. This is K15. So this is K17, one of our favorite sites. Again, there's a nice little path right down to the lake where you can get down and fish. The water levels are a little low right now, but there's plenty of fishing down there. So this is K19 if you back in. Your entire campsite, you've got this beautiful view of the lake. You can see the sun starting to set back there. And here is site K21. This is our favorite site in this loop. You have a nice back end site. You've got access back down to the lake. There's a little trail right over here. Nice little fishing spot. If you have a boat, you can pull up here. But look at the view that you get from the back of your site. K21, hands down, one of our top five. You made it back alive. It's cold. Are you freezing? <sighs> My bike's broken. I only have one gear. And of course, it's one of the high ones. Oh. So, and the battery went dead on my phone, so I got all the good ones. But I don't know how much uh, of the other stuff. We didn't check the battery for the camera? Of course not. Oh, jeez. Okay, and did you get caught? Did anybody see you? No, just the geese. some of our favorite sites and kind of went over an overview of the campground but this campground has a lot more to offer than what we covered um, just a few of the other items to highlight they have a boat ramp that's a great place to put your kayaks in too they have the putt putt which you showed in the volleyball basketball they started a disc golf course but it's not completed and they don't know when it's going to be completed because it's being uh, put in by volunteers and then Allen Creek State Park as a whole has a ton to offer. Bridal mm -hmm. trails, they have bridal trails, they have single track mountain bike uh, trails. Yep. They're each a little over six miles a piece. I've ridden both of them, they're super fun. They have a huge dog park and a huge um, dog, dog beach, beach. Yeah. yes, along with the regular beach too. Now, Anna Marina, and you can rent boats at their marina. Um, there are 13 miles of hiking trails. I didn't realize it, were, it was that many. I just thought it was, you know, the seven that we got lost at, but you know, there's, there's more apparently. Oh, and if you want to order pizza, Cheshire Market has the best pizza and they will deliver to your campsite. Right. And we've also had bait delivered with our pizza. Yeah, there's nowhere else that we found that you can get bait and pizza delivered right to your campsite. Right. And it's pretty, it's, it's really reasonably priced too. Oh, there is an 18 hole disc golf course also at the state at park. At the state park, yeah. right. Yeah. All right guys, don't forget to keep your adventures going. Hey, and if you enjoyed this video, please uh, help us out and subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And hit that notification bell so you know when our new stuff comes out. See ya. See you guys.